dare to dream with me, my friends. The problem with a lot of these objects that we have in, in our settlements is they look good, but we just plonk them down. You know, this water purifier here, or these three water purifiers, they're just gonna plonk down and individually they look good, but surrounded by nothing, they look kind of isolated. And once we've got the wire in there, they're just gonna look a bit kind of abandoned and odd and not really kind of part of any kind of, kind of greater whole and just a bit, just a bit disappointing and just make your settlement feel a bit kind of plain and blah, really. Now, dream with me. Imagine a very simple, but effective and quick design that could make this, these uh, water purifiers look part of a wonderful and kind of busy settlement, realistic yet achievable. And now imagine a video series that will show you how to achieve this within kind of 10 to 20 minutes of building time. Dream no more, my friends. This is the video series you have been looking for. Build It will show you quick, easy, effective tutorials. And today, we are looking at these water purifiers. Can we build it? Yes, we can. Welcome to Build It, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be making these water purifiers today, and the main goal is to just make them look that they are part of a larger construction, part of the settlement, rather than just kind of all out here on their own, neglected and alone. Um, and the build I'm gonna show you today starts off kind of fiddly, and then it actually gets easier kind of as we go. So like, like a lot of these things, there, there's gonna be a point where you have to have a little kind of rummage around and uh, try and sort it out. Um, and for this build, it comes right at the beginning. Now we've got to have three main principles today. Um, and the first one is walkways. Like these are going to need regular maintenance. And the, the easiest way for us to make them look like they're part of a bigger construction is just to surround them by places where humans can actually go and, and work on these. So we're going to create a kind of walkway out here. Now the fiddly bit is the placement of these walkways. And because what the idea is, is that we're going to put these bridges kind of along here to kind of get this kind of straight uh, along the front. Uh, but the problem is, is the bridges don't really click into anything. And of course, we're gonna be working on the water, so you will get irradiated from time to time as well. So it's gonna take a bit of kind of trial and error. Also, the bridges don't really snap to anything other than other bridges. So when we wanna be using putting stairs on in a minute, it's also gonna be a little bit tricky. So just expect that the first few minutes of this is gonna be taken with you kind of like faffing around um, and kind of getting these, everything kind of where you want. Now I'm going to put in this wonderful little shack foundation here, but it's not going to last very long. And then we're going to get some stairs and we're going to put them here. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because these stairs don't actually really go on the, the bridges very well. And what we're looking to do is to create two layers, a low walkway at the front and a high walkway at the back. And by having two different layers, the, the construction for this is going to look so much more interesting because we're going to have two different levels of where people can go it means we can have put in like kind of pillars roofs if we actually want to now it's really important that these stairs are as straight as you can possibly get them because we're going to attach things to this in a minute and if, if they're not straight enough we're going to end up doing it again and that's going to be a pain then we can take away the uh, the shack foundation we get our next bridge and now we just try and put the bridge as far far up as we can as we possibly can until it touches the stairs and we want to make them as straight as we possibly can so the idea is we should be able to clip another bridge on here um like this and in fact that's actually gone pretty well first time but i bet you will need to redo these then what we're going to do is go into the wooden floor section and these stairs nicely will clip to um or little wooden floors will nicely clip to these so i'm just going to grab a kind of random selection of them and we're basically just going to kind of draw around the edge of these now it's your choice here you can either make a very 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 close uh walkway here right up against them or we can be a little more um kind of distant and of course you can pull the whole structure in a little bit if you don't if you don't if you don't like kind of either option but i'm going to go slightly wider out which means i've got more room for things like um pillars and this is the bit where you'll discover how well you've uh position this because in a minute we're gonna have to kind of come back round and hope the whole thing lines up and if it doesn't you might end up doing this bit again but that's what i said that's why i said it can start off a bit fiddly and then we'll come back across through here and what we're going to hope is that 
we're going to be able to get another staircase to clip in just there. And as we can see, close but no cigar, which either means we're going to have to tilt this staircase just a little bit more to the left to move the whole thing around, or it means we're going to need to just readjust the angle of these bridges, of this bridge here, so it will actually touch the bridge there when it goes under. Okay, that's why I said this. this is the fiddly bit. So with this this point here, pause your video or whatever. You know, you fiddle with this until you get it in a position that you're happy with. Try not to irradiate yourself, and uh, we'll get this looking ship shape. And we're done. Uh, it is the fiddliest bit. Um, just get lining these bits up. You will have to tweak it for like kind of five minutes or so. But once it's in the right place, it it's kind of worth it. Um, and uh, obviously today we're going to going for a very kind of rickety. Um, look, we I actually was, I was designing this with a couple of friends of mine from the uh, from the live streams, and uh, we kind of used a mixture of metal and wood to begin with, but it, it it didn't really work. It kind of looked like it was kind of kind of industrial and kind of not industrial, and it kind of looked like it was kind of supposed to be there and kind of not supposed to be there. If that kind of makes any sense, it was just this kind of big mix of. Um, styles and it kind of meshed up and it just didn't really work in 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 our view um so we've decided to go for a properly kind of wooden design but this, the principles that we're talking about today with uh with um of, of having these kind of walkways will work with a kind of metal one or a non-metal one it kind of doesn't really matter and as you can see now we're just going around and we're adding in um as many kind of pillars as possible which will basically kind of complete the kind of structural um look of it and if i miss a little pillar here then sorry and i'm about to get irradiated so let's get out of the water and then the last thing we're going to do to complete the main uh structure bit itself is to go along the top with um the good old um barriers now because this is supposed to be like a maintenance walkway make sure you only do the inside sorry the outside not the inside because otherwise you will find that you um well, it'll just look weird because it'll be like, well, how will they provide maintenance to something that they can't actually get to? Or on the other hand, you might want to put some kind of steel railings in there. But again, I, I find the kind of mix of styles um, to be a little bit um, jarring, really. So uh, this will, get, when I back away in just a second, you'll see that this now actually start is looking pretty. I don't know if solid is the word, but it's it. The, you know that that now looks like these water purifiers now really look like they are part of. Um, a bigger structure and um, they look like they've been kind of pre-planned in and um, um, and, and all sorts and as, as I become de-irradiated we'll be able to see it a little, a little bit better but that looks so much better doesn't it and this design obviously can work for you know 10 water purifiers or one or the big ones or the small ones but it's the principle of this kind of dual walkway that I think looks really really nice now, principle number two we're going to be working with here is um, tool sheds, because these things are going to require lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of maintenance. And um, I felt it was good, important that we kind of showed that as part of the design. Now, this the whole point of these tutorials is that these are supposed to be quick and quick and easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be very, very cheeky, and I am just going to grab this prefab here, because it's kind of like an open room and kind of plonk it down here. Now, if you don't like this and you think this prefab looks a little bit like it's floating and it looks a little bit like it stops randomly, then fine. Build it yourself using foundations. You can get something very, very similar. But the idea is this is supposed to be a kind of quick design. And we're going to turn this into um, a tool shed. We're going to put some just various bits of decorations down there. I'm just going to shove it in there. We're going to mask this by putting some more of these lobster cages in and it'll look pretty good. And in fact, here's one I made earlier um and this literally takes less than it just takes a couple of, you just basically kind of go through the menus and you just kind of go as long as you've got the resources of course you just go through the menus and kind of go i'd like a i'd like a workbench i'd like a few bits of storage i'd like this i'd like that and we kind of plonk them in like this and you pr if you want to spend more time working on this particular aspect of the design make something that comes right up to this wall and kind of build off here um, but if you're like me just looking to get something down that makes you kind of go mm, yes that is that is acceptably not crap and um, then just um, shove some of this this lot down and just try and uh, work with the uh, the other things now and of course, you, you can kind of mask these edges by putting like stacks of um, other items which is always quite 
um, useful. And a lot of these items will stack on each other, and you kind of you can kind of just move the eye away from um, bits that you kind of don't want it to look at by kind of covering it with other little bits and bobs like this. So in here, I've got. Um, uh, a couple of workbenches, fish because we're by the water, a couple of lanterns, a few toolboxes, a few little crates and stuff shoved in the edge. Um, anything that's kind of pre-decorated um, also looks pretty good. And I'm going to use a similar trick at the other end because in the barn section, there is, not in special, sorry, in the barn section, there is uh, these outhouses. Do you remember them? And there's a couple of them with a little foundation on like this. Um, which will kind of sink quite nicely. And I was thinking it'd be nice to have a little kind of design whereby it kind of looks like maybe there was a toilet there before, kind of in, in the in the river, and it's kind of sunk or it's gone a little bit wrong. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sink a pole um, next to this. And then I'm going to pick up the pole by holding down the action key, and it picks up, or it should pick up, both. Looks like it needs to be very, very, very close indeed. There we go. So you keep doing that now. Now this is a kind of a little glitchy thing, and I've shown it off in some of my other videos. And because we've because we've picked up the pole, we can actually adjust the height of the other item, and it will place. Because without doing this, it would be quite. It, you wouldn't be able to get the. Uh, um. Outhouse in the right area, and uh, so that goes in there like that, and it looks like we've got an extra structure here. And I'm going to hop over. Uh, you can see that it is now already starting to take really good shape. The placement of the uh, initial purifiers, of course, is very, very important. You kind of want them to have it somewhere where you're walking kind of towards it or by the side of a building, but somewhere where you can actually kind of see the purifier itself. Because uh, the purifier is the centerpiece of this particular design. Everything else is just kind of making that look that design look like it's part of something kind of um, else. And then basically I'm just going to sling, sling down a few decorations, a few lanterns, a few little bit more kind of fish around the place, and I'll be back in a sec. So here's the decorated uh, version. We've now got a spotlight up there, and if I take us to the night, you can see it nicely lights up the uh, the design. We've got a few lanterns kind of sprinkled around the place. Um, I've added, um, I really like this barrel one near the water because this rope bit here, the way it kind of splays out, it looks like it's floating on the water as long as you find a nice place to put it. Um, I did a similar thing over here with these barrels and I used that same trick with the pillar to just lower that down so it looks like it's on the bottom of the ocean and it really helps to just put kind of put more stuff around with really not much extra effort um, on on my part, and you can see now that this this whole design is looking much more um, real and friendly. You might want to have a switch to turn the spotlight on or off if that bothers you, or maybe use a kind of static light. It depends how much you care about it being lit up at night. Now, there's one last thing you can do, which I personally really like, but I would save first because it's going to involve picking up the whole structure. If you dive into the water here, once you've designed everything, put everything on, pick up the whole lot. It'll plonk down. You see that? It just snapped down. And then I placed it again. And now some of these bridges are now kind of borderline underwater. You see how the water is kind of flowing on top of that there and there and in there. And it the whole thing is now a little bit more underwater than it was. And you can even you can kind of push it down even more, depending on exactly how kind of things were placed. But my my point is is you can kind of fiddle with this and try and get this kind of slightly sunken look to to the structure. Now this is, now this is what you want to save, because if you go down too low, <laughs> then you're going to submerge the whole thing. Um, but it's a really nice little kind of tweak that I felt um, really kind of added to the design. But you, you, you kind of just need to find that nice balance between sunken and um, swimming pool. <laughs> Um, so something like that is probably going to be okay, although there is a little bit of water running there. But you get you get the principle of what we're what I'm kind of aiming at. Anyway, I hope that that has uh, given you a design to work with, or at least sparked some ideas off in your head that you would like to include in your designs. I'd love to see what you come up with. Tweet me at um, at the Adpost TV um, on Twitter, and I'd love to see what you get. And if you use any of my designs at all, you know settlements, I'd love to um, see them. Uh, please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I've got build its, I've got mod its, I've got playthroughs i've got all sorts of other things from from the past as well so there's no reason for you to ever watch anyone else ever again you were fantastic and so was i goodbye <laughs>